Hello, my name is Craig Basher. I'm an application engineer with Advanced Solutions. Today's tip is going to be on Autodesk Showcase creating alternates. Really what it comes down to is that alternates allow me to create good communication to my customer. It allows them to make an informed decision and making sure that we're on the same page. So let's hop over to the software and check it out. So here we are, we're in Showcase. To create alternates, we just use A on our keyboard. We have three types of alternates, model, material, position. So we'll start off with model. So to create a model alternate, we select the geometry that we want to be in the actual alternate. Then we click on the add alternate button here. Now that geometry is added. Now let's say we want to add another one. All I have to do is hold down control, select the geometry I don't want in that alternate, then pick add next alternative. So now I have two. I have one with the base and one without the base. Now these alternate lineups can be renamed. So you can just right click on it and say rename, or you can double click. I'll just call this base viz for, for short. So I know that's the visibility of the base. Okay, so our next alternate that we're going to create has to do with materials. So materials have to do with the actual look and feel of the shaver itself, the color, maybe the texture. So I want to create an alternate, and I always like to start off with like a home alternate, like the default, so I always can go back to the original. So I'll select all the geometry, and you know what, I'm going to make two different ones. So I'm going to deselect the, the base, because I'm going to make a different alternate for that. And I'm going to say add to the selection. And so now I have the default, where I'm starting from. So I'm going to create another one here. But this time, I'm just going to pick the outside shell itself and use the shift tool to pick on the two surfaces that I want to add material to. Then use the M key to open up the material. And then I'm going to pick on a different color. Then I'm going to say add to selection and then set this image. So right click and say image gives me that green image. So now I have a blue and a green. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the base. So we can come up here and say I want to rename this. This is going to be the shell of the razor. Okay, And then we'll do the same thing for the base. So we'll create another material lineup. So we'll pick on the actual object and say add alternative and then we'll say add to selection. So I like to start off with that default. Then I'll create another one. So we'll pick on the actual geometry again and then we'll choose um, one of these materials. Let's choose from out of our library. Let's choose, let's say, maybe a chrome looking uh, base like so. And then I'll say add to selection on my alternate and then set the image. The setting the image allows me to see quickly the difference between the base look and the new look. And of course you can rename these. You can right click on there and say rename and say this is Chrome so that you know. So those are the material lineups. Lastly, let's talk about positional. Positional allows me to move placement of the actual geometry on the screen. So once again, I'm going to start off with my default. So I'll go ahead and pick all the geometry here. And then right click and say add to selection. And I already have the image set. Then I'm just going to use my little cube here and kind of go to the side view. And pick the geometry that I want to move. To move it, I use the handles. So I'm just going to hit H on my keyboard. And then I can just kind of drag this into the location where I want it. Now I can repeat that for other pieces of geometry. Let's say we want to pick the protectors here, the razor blades. So I'm going to use shift again. I'm going to pick on these three razor blades and go to my side view. And then I can just move those out into the correct position. So now that I have the position that I want, I can say I want to add a new alternate and select all the geometry and say add to selection and the image is already set. So now I have the closed or the assembled 
and then the open or the exploded. Now you could use any combination. I could go to a chrome base, green cover, no base at all, with any one of these different alternates. So play around with it, have fun with it. It's a good, great way to communicate to the customer. All right, so here's a little self-promotion. If you have further questions about Showcase or any other manufacturing or factory solutions, you can connect with me through email, uh, LinkedIn or YouTube, uh, Twitter. Uh, I work for Advanced Solutions, so uh, give us a call. Visit our uh, web page. We have uh, plenty of information out there about Showcase and also design software like Inventor and AutoCAD. So once again, I want to thank you for watching and um, talk to you next time.